names that I picked out for him, of course, uh, Yosef, my, my father-in-law's uh, father, and of course, Yosef battled through adversity his whole life, you know, was thrown into a pit, and he came out, he conquered um, David, King David, Michal's husband, Michal, my wife, and uh, the name David was just coming to us in all corners throughout the last few weeks. And of course, Chaya, my father's name, Life. So I, these, these three names mean so much to me. Yosef David Chaim. Many Rabbanim throughout history have said that once you complete kind of your challenges, you overcome your temptations, your physical, spiritual, mental challenges in your life, then that is when you'll be zuche to Torah. And Torah in many places we see is referred to as Chaim, as life, that Torah is our life. So I think that the name, right, the order also is uh, fitting that we have the name Yosef and the David, where right? you have to fight through all the struggles, the internal and then the external struggles. And then once you're able to overcome all those, that uh, the son, that your son should be able to be zuche to Chaim, which is Torah. So that he should be able to have a long life for Chaim, Torah and Mazar. You, Justin and Michal, are starting the process of Jewish education of your dear newborn son, Yosef David Chaim, which will lead, I'm sure, Bezat Hashem, to a meaningful Jewish life. A big mazal tov, may the newborn child bring a lot of nachat to, to his parents, grandparents, and the entire community. And may you, Justin, Gamliel, and Michal, merit to raise, to, raise, uh, uh, to raise him to a life of Torah, Chupa, and Maasim Tov. First off, my wife is an absolute warrior, so if I could get a round of applause for her. Yeah, she really, she's so special to me. She really is an Asia Kyle. Like, towards the end of the pregnancy, uh, she wants to get the baby out. When's the baby coming out? And uh, I just told her, she has such a special connection with Hashem that I never had a doubt. Thank God everything went according to plan. On her due date, she gave birth. It's really special because towards the end of the due date, she was asking me, Justin, when do you think I'm gonna give birth? Uh, I, really, I really want it to happen, but I want it to happen at the right time. That Shabbos, so last Shabbos, before the baby came out, the Devar Torah that I read to her was Parshas Vayetze, and the Devar Torah was that a holy uh, rabbi, his wife was pregnant, and his wife was overdue by, a, I believe, a few days or a week. He went to see and visit another rabbi, and he said to the rabbi, can you please daven that my wife has, uh, has the baby already? And the rabbi turned him down, and he said, I'm not gonna daven for that, just have a muna. And a few days later, they have the baby. The father of the baby goes back to the rabbi and he just quickly asks him, Rebbe, thank you, but I do want to know, why, why couldn't you make the prayer for, for my wife and I to expedite the process and for her to give birth? And the rabbi said that this holy rabbi was going to give birth to a tzaddik. And it says when one tzaddik is born, another is taken away in this world. So if the rabbi would have prayed for an expedited birth, unfortunately, the tzaddik that moves on from this world would have passed on too soon, not on his time. And we both know, God willing, this boy will be a tzaddik. <laughs>